19-year-old Tariq Milam will stay in jail with bail set at $200,000. He is one of two teens suspected of trafficking an 18-year-old woman from Texas throughout the month of July on Aurora Avenue in surrounding hotels. He pleaded not guilty in court Thursday to charges of promoting prostitution and unlawful possession of a firearm. Mr. Milam, you are charged in count one with the crime of promoting prostitution in the second degree. His 17-year-old co-defendant was in court last week facing first-degree promotion of prostitution, second-degree kidnapping, and unlawful possession of a firearm. Court documents show the woman escaped from a home in the Mount Baker neighborhood after contacting her dad who called police and helped her escape. He was able to arrange for an Uber for her. She was able to flee the house, get in the Uber, and go to SeaTac Airport. This alleged crime being prosecuted as just this week, a different woman who court documents show was a sex worker on Aurora Avenue escaped a homemade cinder block cell inside a man's house in Oregon. The FBI says she was taken off Aurora Avenue and that the suspect said he was an undercover cop and put her in restraints before taking her more than 400 miles to his Klamath Falls home. According to the complaint, the woman fought for her life beating the doors and the walls of this cell with bloodied hands. These crimes are creating more concern over sex trafficking on Aurora Avenue, which the King County Prosecuting Attorney's Office says is not hard to spot. I think all people have to do is, is, is go up and down Aurora and they can see uh, many vulnerable people being trafficked. The King County Prosecuting Attorney's Office said going after buyers and individuals who promote prostitution, the people who create demand for trafficking victims, is a priority for the King County Prosecuting Attorney's Office. So far this year, they have filed 23 cases involving crimes like human trafficking and promoting prostitution. Last year, they filed 38 in total and 49 the year before.